Hello there. So today I'll be talking about papers, calligraphy papers that you get in the market, Indian market. Uh, well, none of the papers are marketed as calligraphy papers or things like that. But uh, uh, you need to select what you, you know, what suits you. Okay. First one. Uh, this is uh, by ITC. It's it's a basically a notebook that kids use, a classmate notebook by ITC, and it's a very thin paper, but uh, it it has uh, it doesn't bleed but it doesn't f it does bleed but it doesn't feather like here uh, it is not feathering feathering is very less but bleed is there so it can be used for practice purposes you can fill the whole notebook uh, let me show you like over here no feathering but here you see a lot of bleed so that's okay for practice purpose all these will work so it is by ITC and it is made by uh, I mean um, it's eco-friendly, uh, no chlorine used, so it's eco-friendly, for practice purpose, it's a good one. It is not this thin, I mean I tore a lot of, lot of sheets so it became thin, anyway. So the other one is uh, copier papers, in the copier papers, it is like uh, if you use copier papers, some may feather, some may not feather, some may bleed, some may not bleed, depending on the manufacturers. Like this one, this is by ITC, this one is ITC, by ITC, 75 GSM, copier paper nice whiteness uh, no feathering but there is some bleed some bleed which is at, at least acceptable this is acceptable uh, I don't know uh, this was this one was by IDC or not but I don't think so it is also 75 GSM here also I have a 75 GSM copy of paper not by ITC lot of feathering over here and when I wrote this <coughs> it, it didn't feather as much but after 10-15 minutes I saw all these things and lot of bleed, you can see that. Lot of bleed. So copy your papers. It's like it's just for practice. You may, you, you may get bleed, you may not get bleed. It may feather, it may not feather. So for practice, oh, that doesn't matter. The other one is by Neil Gagan. It is uh, not a uh, calligraphy paper or any other typical paper. It's just uh, paper that kids use for in their practical notebooks. Um, biology practi practicals, chemistry practicals to draw diagrams. Uh, it is 90 GSM, I guess, and uh, doesn't feather. This one, this is not feathering. Uh, I mean, I touched it, so it happened. So this doesn't feather, but it does bleed a little, which is uh, <coughs> acceptable. For, I also recommend this only for practice. You can't use this for some serious work, like here. This is not uh, the bleed, it, 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 it is uh, the impression of the other paper that is below. So, um, no feathering and bleed is acceptable. So, this is uh, Neil Kagan's uh, practical papers for, for kids. So, 90 GSM, it works. Okay, another one I want to talk about is uh, the tracing paper. It is a translucent paper uh, and I remember using these papers to trace uh, waveforms from the CRO, that is cathode ray or oscilloscopes and uh, uh, when I was doing my engineering. So we used it, we used it for that purpose but then uh, I thought uh, just give it a try and then I, I tried it and it gives good results. No feathering, no bleed, uh, the, the effect is good. And if you put against a white sheet, it looks much better. The other thing is that if a lot of ink is used, I mean a lot of uh, thin, uh, not uh, fluid ink is used, which is very, the viscosity is very less than, it gives kind of a wave-like uh, uh, feel uh, when you touch it. Like over here, it gives a wave-like feel. But here it's okay, it's, it's a wave-like feel. Oh dear. Uh, this is Parker ink. And all these colored were... Uh, this uh, red color is uh, Mont Blanc and the purple is uh, by uh, Schaefer. So this is also good and this is not for practice. You can use it for like these works. It's a good one. I like it. So that's the tracing paper and it's very cheap, very easily available around 3 rupees per sheet or 2 rupees per sheet depending on from where you're buying. It is available in any any of the stationery shops in the market. Just go around the stationery shops. You ask for tracing paper, and they give you <coughs> all those that I discuss. All are very cheap and easily available. Okay, so the other one I want to talk about is by 
बिल्ट दिस इज इट्स बल्क आर्टिस्ट पेपर ए फोर साइज वन थर्टी जी एस एम एंड मैन दिस इज गुड दिस इज रियली गुड इट इज पेपर द टॉप पार्ट इज अटल टेक्स्चर द बॉटम इज अटल लेस टेक्स्चर दैन दी अदर वन सो इट्स अ गुड वन ब्लीड इज वेरी वेरी लेस Bleed is very less. I hope you can see that. Hold on. Bleed is less and no feathering, no feathering over here. So it's a good one. I used it with point nibs, uh, bands of brows, bands of nibs, and then Leonard nibs. Tried everything, and it's a good one. It is good for sketching. It is good for calligraphy. You can use pencils. You can use color pencils. It's a good one. You can use lo use loads of ink over here. Like, like I tried. A lot of ink. I used all the inks that I had. The, I used the 8 mm Leonardo over here with this green ink is uh, uh, the Pelican Edelstein. And then you see, not much bleed. No green over here. You can't see any green. So I, I used a lot of ink over here. So it's a good one. This is a good paper, and it comes in uh, uh, A3 size also. I, I got this A4 size because I don't require the A3 size just uh, for You know, it's just a hobby. I don't sell calligraphy. So anyway, this is a good one. I um, yes, you get it in A3 size. That's it. Uh, one more brand that is by Neil Gagan, and that is also artist paper. It is also 130 GSM, and that is also good. I tried that, but I don't have it right now. I just tried that. I took a sheet of paper just for sample, and I tried that. I went to look for that Neil Gagan paper, but I found this, and this is good. Uh, because the texture is not too you know too much textured. Neil Gagan is too much textured. This is not too much textured. It is good. The other one I talk about, I want to talk about is uh, well, this is a strip of paper. It is by Fabriano. Uh, it is an A3 size paper, but I didn't get that A3 size. I was making something. I had cut a strip out, so I thought, why not discuss? Uh, why not take this and talk about it? So it is a good paper. I mean, no bleed, no feathering whatsoever. It is 25% cotton, uh, 200 GSM, and it is a what? It is marketed as a watercolor paper. It is by Fabriano, and uh, I'll put I'll write, uh, post all the links from uh, from where you can purchase all these things. At actually only this because all those things are available anywhere in any stationery shop. You don't need to go, sir. I need you don't need to go and ask for calligraphy papers. You can just go for artist papers, and then they'll get you. So this is a um, uh, I use Parker ink over here with a, a Leonard nib and then no feathering, no bleed. It's a pretty good one. Yeah, and then uh, one more thing I want to I uh, missed out that this is I mean on this paper the the build uh, gouache looks awesome. Gouache also it works fine. Watercolors also go fine. Poster colors also and all those uh, actually colors also. They were pretty, pretty fine on this. Great effect. They give a nice effect, and the same thing goes with this. Uh, it gives a very nice effect with pencils, color pencils. Excuse me, and um, mm, 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 gouache, watercolors, all kinds of ink. I used uh, Pelican, I Edelstein, I used Schaefer, Scrip, and then I used Parker. All the inks I had, also Mont Blanc, all all work fine. So. This is a good one. Yes, it is not cheap. <laughs> This is really costly. I mean, I had purchased eight, uh, not twenty sheets. Yeah, twenty sheets for nine hundred rupees, and this is pretty costly. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that's those are the papers that I use. I have used till date. I haven't. Yeah, I have used parchment also, but that is not available in India. I look. Uh, Or everywhere in the market, I didn't get any parchment papers uh, that I had used. Um, that was used by that was by Stadler. So I haven't looked for it. I mean, I, ha I haven't found it as yet. But when when I find it, I'll I'll surely post a, a video on that, and also I'll share a link. So I hope this was this. Oh no, I missed one thing. Yeah. Okay, this is the uh, photo paper. One eighty GSM photo glossy paper. Uh, by Audi, and uh, photographers use it. Uh, let me show you something. I do. I didn't write anything on this. Just to show you how, what happens on this. Um, okay. Uh, let me fix 
some nibs. Not this one. This one will be fine. Let me just show you. This is a great, great paper. Okay. This is. I'm not trying calligraphy, I'm just trying to, you know, write so that the, the, the ink dries quickly. Photo B, B. Okay. Now, let it dry for a bit. You see, there's some feathering and some bead also there is a little bit of feathering if you use a point pen uh, feathering is a lot but uh, flat nib flat tip nibs feathering is not that prominent but it is still there uh, like in this uh, the p a little bit of feathering and the o a little bit of feathering over there okay i guess it's dry it is. okay now give me one second and i'll drop a little I'll drop a little bit of water over here. You see that? <laughs> this thing is water resistant. Nothing happens. I drop uh, four or five drops of water. Let me just add more. Okay. Here it is. Drops of water. Nothing is happening. See that? Nothing is happening. So this is a good one. I mean, I discovered that nothing is happening when I add water on it. Uh, the, the piece is, uh, you know, it's protected. But if, if you place, if you drop water on the underside, <laughs> this will, you know, it start feathering. It will start feathering. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope this was useful, and uh, thank you for watching.